Well, there's no doubt Lawrence Dawson could stay a very strong case for Lewis Slit in the opening event. Looked a little bit unlucky. The former Kiwi I caught up with Lawrence after that particular drive to discuss that run by Lewis Slit and also his career in harness racing. Well, I was good to catch up with you. No doubt Lewis Litt should have finished closer. But the records will show that he finished seventh, beat nine and a half metres in the opening event. That was a very good run. Yeah, it was. He, he came from a wider uh, barrier and he, he hasn't got a lot of early gate speed, so I, I just slotted across him behind and I thought he finished on pretty well. He sort of got blocked late for a bit of a run and the track was a bit heavy, which he doesn't really like. So I thought all in all it was a pretty good effort, yeah. One to watch? Oh, I, I think so, yeah, yeah. Now, Lewis Slith came to you via Bruce Maguire, who's got a very keen eye for a horse. That's right, he has, yeah. He's a friend of mine from the Riverina, and he's, he's um, spent a bit of time in New Zealand, and, yeah, he, he's the one that uh, orchestrated the, the purchase of, of Lewis Slith, and we couldn't be happier, yeah. Of course, Lewis Slith, one of the outstanding characters in the what is now a famous TV series due to Megan Markle in Suits, which I was a bit of a fan of. That Lewis Slit was a bit of a uh, bit of a character. How's this one? Yeah, he's got he's, he has got a bit of a character. Yeah, he's he's um he's got to have it all his way, or he, he gets a bit bit cranky. Sounds like the Lewis Slit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah that way for sure. Yeah. Now, Lawrence, you're second generation, following in the footsteps of your dad, Peter. That's right. Yep. Yep. And what a wonderful resume he had working with some wonderful names in harness racing, breaking in horses for them. He did. He broke in horses for a long time, I'd, probably 25 years, and for all the leading trainers, and he broke in a lot of horses. And Yeah. Ron Krogan, Molly Wood, Kevin Newman, Fran Donahue, just to name some, that's a pretty elite group. Yeah, he did, and he'd he done that for a long time, which shows he, he yeah, he's, I remember as a kid, some of the horses we had were more than a handful, you know, in those days. Now, Lawrence, you're following in his footsteps in more than one way. You're also training and driving just like your dad, but you're also breaking in horses and now shoeing. Yeah, I, I do a bit of everything. I sort of I enjoy doing everything in the game. Like you, you can shoe your own. You can if you do everything yourself. Well, obviously it's you save money, but it's it's enjoying too. You know, rewarding. And how many horses would you have at any one time? Oh, I never have any more than four or five. I just race one or two of my own and play around with a couple of young ones. You've had some very good ones to play around with. I'll leave one of them to last. But Oscar Lane was one of my favourites. He was. He was a, a very good juvenile, strong three-year-old. He yeah. Very good horse, he was, yeah. Won a gold chalice at Bathurst, 43 starts for 11 wins and eight placings. Uh, should have had an extended career. Yeah, he, he did run into a few uh, joint problems in his career, but he was, he was a very big uh, big horse and very strong horse. But, yeah, he's, he's, he got let down a bit by a few injuries later on, but when he was in his prime, he was up there with the best three-year-olds, I thought, in the country. Dawn Magic, very productive, and Halloween, a very consistent performer these days. Yeah, they both very consistent. Yeah, they 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 not as strong as what Oscar was. Oscar was probably the strongest horse that I, I drove, but um, they had their own sort of way. Like they were sit sprinters, but pretty pretty capable. Well, let's go back to two thousand and five, the Golden Mile. Successful on that particular occasion. Very strong field, and you knocked off a horse called Smooth Satin. Yeah, we we did at at that time. Uh, Black Reef was he was going well. He was sort of flying a bit under the radar. And Smooth Satin was, was um, probably towards the end of his career, to be fair. And, um, yeah, we drew well and we, we held the front. And around Harold Park, Black Reef, if you got a breather, you, you had to take had a good one to beat him, you know. Just adding further merit to that performance, finishing midfield, another horse that went pretty well in his own right, double identity. That's right, well, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was just below the real top ones, Black Reef. Well, 180 starts for 37 wins, 54 placings, 325,000 prize money. Yeah, he was from a great New Zealand family, a long list of winners, and he went to America and, and won a lot of money there too. He's just a, just a gem of a horse, you know. You consider them those once in a lifetime. Yeah, yeah you don't get too many of them in your career. That's a, definitely a family involvement here. Your lovely wife, Rebecca. Yep. I heard that didn't go too bad either in harness racing. No, he didn't have a lo he didn't have a long career, but geez, for the time he was in it, he had some some pretty good horses, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about Doug Lane. That's right. Yeah, he um yeah no, he had some 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 very competitive horses in the in the grades. Gracie Wilkes was a good mare, you know. She was a top since she won a pink bonnet. Yeah. Now, your daughter Emily and your son Patrick are they getting involved in harness racing, or are you just going to let them find their own way? I'll let them find their own way. They, Emily more so she she enjoys the horses 
Patrick says neither here nor there at this stage, but um, yeah, we'll just see what happens later on, you know. Well, it's nice to catch up with the Alliance. Hopefully, we're going to see you in the winner's circle here very shortly, all dressed up in a nice suit yeah. with Lewis Litt. Well, that would be good, yeah. He's, 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 he's thereabouts. He's knocking on the door. He just needs that luck. Let's hope you get that luck. Thank you.